Hey there, friends. It's Cynthia. Welcome to Equilibrium by Cynthia. If you're stopping by here for the first time, I want to say welcome. You found your channel for compassionate, energizing, uplifting, and spiritual yoga. Bring us into that divine and perfect health because it's all about the mind, the body, and the soul. And that's why we're here to find equilibrium, to be well and be joyful and to be healthy and happy. So I'm very excited during this uh, season of giving gratitude and grace to offer this segment to help us with digestion. Now you're probably saying, how does giving gratitude and grace have anything to do with our digestion? But I know if you're like me during the holidays, you're thrown off your regular schedule. Maybe, you know, it's a lot of rich food. Maybe it's just enjoying yourself um, with friends. Whatever it is, sometimes it takes a toll on the gut. <laughs> so our practice today is going to be about taking twists and the internal organs and being compressed, releasing that venous fluid that carries the toxins that are upsetting our stomach and maybe ha zapping us of our energy. And we'll also do some beautiful heart openers because this is the season to shine your light and to shine it so clearly. You need an open heart, right? So we're going to start right here and right now. Grab your two blocks, get your mat out, and let's get started. Are you ready? Let's do it. Take your seat, put it down in the middle of the, your mat, and then curl your toes around so you're spreading down. Seal the feet to the mat. Place this block handy, you're gonna need it. And then lower yourself all the way down gently and slowly onto your back. Once you get down there, let's take a minute, hug the knees into the heart. Ah, keeping the spine long now. See if you can just relax everything in that low back. And find some space there. Just breathing, and letting knees go in one direction and then the other. You can already hear my belly just coming right out there with some gurgling. Here we go now. We're going to spread the knees wide. Take big circles now as you spread them wide. Then let them go down as you hold on to your knees. Draw them back together at the center of the body and then back into your chest. So inhale, spread the knees open, take them down and wide, touch back together, and then draw them in. We'll do four of those, spreading wide, breathing in, and tapping knees together, draw them into your heart. Inhaling. Knees touch and draw to your heart. Inhale, open. Exhale, knees to chest. One more time, open your heart, open your knees, let your spine stay long, bring them back together. Feet are flexed, place them right there on the earth, wherever your bent knees, place them, that's where I want them to go. You've got your arms stretching down, get your body really long, and then scoop your tailbone so you're pushing down through the midsection, lift your pelvis up, lift your hips, and then feel the ribs knitting back into the spine as you extend through the tailbone and place your hands into the earth so that your arms are actually supporting you here in your bridge pose. And on this next full body inhale, notice how your chest is open to receive the breath. And exhale. And inhaling. And exhaling. Keep the belly drawing in, the tailbone scooping up, and your knees in the framework of your body. <laughs> And taking one more cycle of your breath here. And then tippy toe your feet as you lift your heels, scoop the tailbone higher, and then bring your tail, your spine down one inch at a time. Beautiful wide feet on your mat. Feet are parallel to the long edges of your mat. Spread your arms out to a T and then take it over for windshield wipers to the right. Stretching through the whole side of your waist. Just hang out here and taking now your right hand, lifting it up over your head and feeling the play of opposites there as your left side body gets into it. 
in your right upper back. As you breathe in, let's switch it. We're going to cross the legs back over and then exhale them <laughs> to the left, moving your blocks as you stretch the left arm up now. Ah, just imagine that your whole right side of your intercostal muscles of the ribs are now spread open and wide. Draw a deep breath. And then let's flow back and forth. Arms stay at the T. Bring it back and then go to the right. Inhale them up. Take them to the left. Ah, staying with that beautiful low back now. Pressing down each time as you undulate the spine here for just two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Getting things moving here. On the next breath, we're going to pop it back up to bridge pose. Arms go long. Feet come in. Hip width distance with those feet. And then scoop your tailbone. Push the mid back down. Lift your hips. Feel the energy of the inner thighs drawing inward and down to your mat. As you hold here in this beautiful bridge pose, we're going to tippy toe the feet now and walk them just a little bit closer. And then extending now your left leg long and straight so it's hovering right over your hip. We're going to take just a few motions here, energizing through that right quad, the right calf and the right foot. As you exhale, let your seat touch down. Draw your long left leg straight so that it touches the earth as well. Beautiful inhale brings you back up, scooping through the tailbone. And then exhale, bring it down. It's just a variation on our bridge pose. Keep moving with your breath. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift the hips evenly, and then bend your knee. Exhale, foot down to the mat. Taking it to the other side. Right leg is lifting now. Engage the muscles of that leg. Point your toe. Level out your hips, and then exhale, lower leg and tailbone tips down. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it. Each time the hips lower, it's like a little elevator, and then they rise back up. And then bending the knee, coming on down. We're going to let the tailbone scoop high as we lay the vertebra down, one inch at a time. Beautiful job. Let's come into a little pebble. Hug the knees into your chest. Get small here. Rock around side to side, forward and back. We're going to roll right up into a seated position and come into cat and cow. So just come right away up onto your hands and knees. Get yourself in the middle of your mat. And as you stretch the crown of your head forward, plant your knees right there underneath your hips, hands under the shoulders, and then find some width there through the collarbone, opening up your heart. Let's breathe in, tip the tailbone up, look forward. And then as you exhale, round the chin, let the tailbone go down towards your heels, belly to sky. And then breathe in, reverse it. Big exhale, take it to your cat. Breathing deeply also moves the digestive juices in the body. As you exhale, curl it to cat. So join me now with Ujjayi breath through the nose. Exhale through the nose, gentle constriction, back of throat. Two more times. Exhaling. To your cow. And take it to your cat. And then walking now your hands forward so that they're stretched long, tailbone drawing back. We're going to just take the right hand under the body, place the top of the hand down, come into a little thread the needle action. As you lay your head, your ear, your side face down there, and <laughs> get your hair out of your mouth. And then stretch your spine back and long. You can let the left arm extend long. You can bend the elbow, put it down. You're opening up your shoulder and getting a good stretch through the right side of the body. Breathing in deeply. And exhaling fully. And imagine now your spine is as long as it's ever been as you stretch the hips evenly back towards the heels. Draw the low belly in. Breathe in two more. And exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. And then come forward. Rock back onto the knees. Hands go underneath the shoulders. Cat cow. Wash it out with two of these. Exhale to cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale to cat. Walk the hands all the way out there. Stretch them long. Shoulders stay down. Left hand now under the body. Top of hand scoops out there and stretches you all the way open to the left. Ah, lay your head down. Get your spine long. Draw the hips back and then breathe in with me. Let's go. Inhaling. And exhale. Relaxing onto your face without straining your neck. Now let the weight of your body pull back through the hips now. Inhaling. And exhale, detoxifying with this cleansing breath. One more. And exhale, let it go. Rising back to tabletop. We're going to bring the hands right there underneath the body. Spread the fingertips wide, coming into bear cub. So walk the knees in just a little bit so they're right under your hips. Tuck your toes. And then using only the core, get that fire in the belly by pulling the belly button to the spine and lifting your knees. So the knees are hovering just a couple of inches. The neck is long. You're looking down just about a foot in front of your fingertips. And then lift up and out of your shoulders so you're drawing everything energetically up towards the sky. We're going to tap our knees three times and then lift back up. Let's go. One, two, three, and belly draws the knees away. There's one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Keep going and shifting the weight of your body into the feet so you're not dumping into the wrists. Let's do four more. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Using our core muscles here. One more time. One, two, three, and up. And now on your next up, just stay in that long spine. Push the hands forward. Rock the heels towards the back of the mat. Come into a really bent knee, downward facing dog. Now you might want to stretch your body and your hands out a little bit here. As you begin to press the hips back, open up through your chest as you feel the collarbones widen there. And just pedal out your feet. Take a turn with your neck one way and then the other and find the hips swaying gently back and forth as you press evenly down through the fingertips, the ball of the fingers, and also the ball of your palm. Stretching forward with a long neck, long spine. Ah, oh, this feels great. Taking two more breaths in a beautiful down dog with your low belly firing up, drawing in. Great for digestion, down dog is. Big inhales. Big exhales. Ah, stretch the quads back, the calves back. Let everything be drawing you back. One more big inhale. And a big exhale. Walk the feet together. Lifting now the left leg to the sky. Open the hip. Three-legged dog. Point your toe. Get it up there. And then come forward. Bend the knee. Shift the body weight into a one-legged plank position. Hug it underneath you. And then rock to your right hand. Place the left foot down between your hands. Let your back knee rest. Come into low lunge. This time, let your body really feel perpendicular to the earth as you lift and stack your fingertips, your elbows, and your shoulders towards the earth. As you stretch them down towards the earth, just open up your palms to the sky. Biceps lift you higher. Keep your body right where it is. Fingertips extended, but shoulders drawing down. And feel the belly once again. Take that fire. Draw it in. As you energize through the fingertips, breathing, inhale. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhaling. And exhale, maybe sinking the hips a little bit further now. And then draw the hands forward parallel with the earth. Take the left elbow under the right, coming into eagle arms. See if you can get your palms together. If that's not working, just hold on to your shoulders. 
as you draw your ping fingers together and upward elbows get lifted remember we're not arching here unless you're warmed up and ready for that keep the belly drawing in tailbone scooping down shoulders drawing down ah you can even turn your head breathe in and breathe out relax through the shoulders no wasted energy here exhale and now let's take a back bend keeping the hands right where they are reach the hands up and over your forehead and release the pose uncoil the hands palms meet the mat kick your left leg back up for three-legged dog ah press through the standing leg lift the pointed toe higher and see if you can square your upper body as you let your left hip spiral open and back bend your knee if you want to and just take some circles here opening up through the hip whatever feels good to you that's the name of the game in yoga exploring ourselves here let's bring the foot back down we're taking it to the other side inhale now right leg lifting high open hip for your beautiful down dog kick hold it for a breath here and as you exhale bend your knee shift that knee forward under your body for your plank position rock to your left hand put the right foot down between your hands and then let your back knee rest right away we're gonna draw everything up torso arms lifting higher fingers expanding you to that beautiful sky and even if you're practicing indoors envision that blue sky it's gorgeous today you've got everything you need right there palms face each other now as you exhale bring them forward let the shoulders come down taking right elbow now underneath the left and you're gonna find one shoulder is different than the other it doesn't matter just hold your shoulders drawing them down lift the elbows away from the chest and let the hip flexor get stretched on the left as you also stretch your shoulders big inhale big exhale notice how the inhales are creating more space in your body and the exhales are just opening it up to receive inhale one more time exhale and soften everywhere and now back bend time inhale lift the hands up take them over the forehead exhale palms to the mat kicking it to your three-legged dog take the right leg high push evenly through your hands like you're reaching down into this beautiful rich earth and you want to get down in there bend your knee if that feels good take a circle inhaling and exhaling big inhale stretching the leg tall once again and then bring your foot down to the mat we're going to shift into plank position belly drawing up and in as you exhale hold scooping through the tailbone feel the energy in your core here put the knees down we're going to sit back untuck your toes and walk your hips back to your heels for virasana twist so get comfy if this doesn't feel good you can sit up on tucked toes or you can even sit on your block whatever whatever feels right we're coming into that long beautiful spine so now breathe in and stretch the arms overhead and then as you exhale let your left hand float forward and just draw your eye so you come into this beautiful parallel arms here in your twist letting now your left hand go all the way down take your right hand on your left knee and then extend lift your heart spiral it open and then exhale soften through the shoulders and neck we'll be here for four breaths breathe in and breathe out now this is a pose that less is better so just feel your body as it wants to spiral relax everything that's happening from your heart all the way up through that beautiful crown chakra and let everything just sink in and down as you ground through the pelvis into the heels one more breath here big inhale 
big exhale. Ha! Ah, we're massaging the intestines here with these twists. Let's uncoil. Bring both arms out and up. Big inhale. Look up. And then as you exhale, let the right hand float down and follow it. Come into parallel with your arms. As you draw the belly in, you're stretching through both hands here, feeling the tailbone root down. Now you lower your right fingertips down to the earth. Let your left hand rest on the outer part of your thigh and take a twist as you breathe in. And as you exhale, just twist a little more. Breathing in. And breathing out, the shoulders are falling away from the ears. Maybe there's some movement in your neck. Ah. Relax into it. Gorgeous. We're going to turn back around now. Come back to center. Draw the deepest breath of your day. Biceps, palms reaching up. And then as you exhale, come to tabletop position. Stretch the arms really long. Plank it now. Tuck the toes. Lift the quads. Toning up the quads now. We're sending the seat all the way to the sky for downward facing dog. Take two breaths here in your down dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Walking the feet together now, lifting the left leg high. We're coming into our beautiful sequence, adding on. Bring the toe to the sky. Fingertips of both hands pressing evenly. Standing leg heel pressing down too. And then shift it forward as you exhale. Core plank, knee hugs under the chest. And then place the foot down between the hands. Place the back knee down as well. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Exhale, swoop them forward, coming into eagle arms, left elbow under the right, big breath in, elbows lift, shoulders down. Exhale, hinge forward through the hips. Now take your back bend, lift your hands, take those arms up. Exhale, uncoil. Tented fingers on the earth, tuck the back toe, and we're coming right into a high crescent lunge, so push evenly through the front leg and the back. And keep the bend in the knee as you inhale the arms up, holding in your crescent lunge. Big strong breath here as we inhale. And exhale, rooting through the pelvis now. Bring the left hand forward. Watch it with your hand, go down by your hip, and then stretch it back as we do the same thing we did in Varasana. Big inhale. And exhale as you open up the chest and the space in the front of the body. You're drawing the shoulder blades together at the back, lowering them down away from the ears and reaching energetically as long as you're mat. Beautiful inhale. And exhale. Big bend stays in the front knee. We're just going to take a back bend here. So take your left hand on your back leg. Reach up. Look up. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Palms touch the mat. Stepping now back into down dog kick. Lift the left leg high. Bend the knee. Take a circle. Exhale. Big inhale. Stretch his leg long. And exhales. Both heels coming down to the mat. Take two breaths here. As you press through both feet evenly. Inner soles of the feet coming down there. Send back the kneecaps, the quads. Get that long stretch and draw your shoulders down as you lift your crown forward towards the fingertips. Walking the feet together, right leg kicks high. And as you stretch tall, point that toe, engage the muscles to that leg in the sky. Look forward, shift forward, knee under the belly, knee at the heart. Place the foot down, back knee rests. Inhale, swoop the torso and arms up, lifting you. And then exhale, arms come forward. Palms facing an eagle, arms right elbow under the left. Stretch the elbows higher. 
let the hips descend and then take your back bend elbows lifting arms lifting two exhale uncoil the hands tented fingers on the mat high crescent lunge lift your back knee and get that foot hip width distance to grab your body and keep your balance big bend stays right there over the front ankle stretch up with your hands as you inhale stretch and find the length in the spine and then initiate from this rooted tailbone this energy of elongation through your body as you exhale both hands come forward now let the right hand graze the hip as you come into a beautiful twist drawing the belly in like a human corkscrew here as you root down through your hips your pelvis and your tailbone inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale slowly let the right hand touch down on the back leg as you lift the left arm up maybe your gaze goes with it and then we're going to exhale both hands down hinge from the hip come forward kick the right leg up into your down dog beautiful job stretch and bend your knee take a few circles and then straight leg up to the sky and down dog here we go three breaths in your down dog get your feet wide here and press evenly through all four corners of your feet even if your heels aren't down you're gonna feel that energy through the calves the Achilles stretching everything out inhaling and exhaling softening the neck turning it no and yes you're doing great by the way we're gonna take a twist in our down dog so keeping your left palm down take your right hand under the body see if you can hold on right there underneath your left calf underneath your left calf now you can even bend that left calf just to get your body twisted and then try pressing the heel back We'll stay here for two breaths. Keeping the spine long as you breathe in. And softening the neck as you breathe out. Inhale, right hand forward, look forward. Get centered now. And we're gonna take it to the other side. Rocking into that right hand, lift your left and then come under the body. Hold on to the outer edge of your calf. Now shoot your right hip back. So you're really opening up through the chest, the ribs, everything there in the midline, in the middle of the body. Pushing everything through with these twists as you relax your shoulders. And just breathe with me. One more breath here. Gorgeous. Let's look forward. Stretch the hands out and shift now into a beautiful plank position. As you reach the crown forward, the tailbone is reaching back to the heels. We're going to just hold here for five. There's four, stretching and doming out your upper back. There's three, belly drawing up and in. There's two, tailbone scooping down to the heels. There's one, and then tippy toe your feet, and we're gonna lower down, bending the elbows, hugging the waist all the way to the mat. Let's come into up dog, hands under the elbows, push into the tops of your feet as you lift your head, lift your heart. Knees up or down, it's up to you. Breathing in. As your heart shines through the gateway of your arms, relax. Draw your chin so that it's parallel with the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Knees come down. Take it back into a long, juicy child's pose. Stretch the hips back. Rock back and forth. And then let your forehead come down. Big inhale. And a soft, easy exhale. Now let the forearms come down. Just take a little rest here for two more breaths. Awesome job. We're going to come right up into tabletop position and find a seat once again on the mat. 
and coming into just our final pose. We're going to take figure four with a nice juicy twist. So let's lay down onto our backs. We move that and lie right down there gently and slowly using your core muscles as you get yourself on your mat. Soles of feet pressing down into the earth, just like for bridge pose. Tuck the shoulder blades down there too and get the spine long. Now lifting your left leg up to the sky and then crossing that ankle, placing it right there on the right knee. Let's remember now in this pose, in our figure four, to keep the sacrum long. So let the sacrum stay where it is. Just draw your knee up as you extend through the left knee and flex your left foot. Now feel it already in the outer hip on the left side and just play around with it. As you breathe in, you're going to draw the right knee further inward and gently guide the left knee further away from your beautiful smiling face as you just relax now, noticing any tension in your low back and just breathing into it, letting it expand and open up. Relax the shoulders and relax the jaw here. And just come into this peacefulness. We'll be quiet in the sounds of nature for the next four breaths. One more breath here. Mm, exhale, release it. Now let your fingertips <laughs> release your leg. Let the toe of your right foot touch down. Arms go out to a T and then just continue over to the right with your knees and your foot and let yourself come into a nice, beautiful twist. Ah, relaxing the shoulders down. Literally let every muscular tension go there. As you let your knees just weigh yourself all the way into a beautiful, purifying, cleansing twist. Breathing in deeply and breathing out fully. Two more breaths. Each oxygenated breath is purifying your blood. Ah, release and relaxing everything now for your final inhale and final exhale here. Let's come back to center. Use your core to draw the knees back in. Upper body up to meet your knees. Stretch everything in that low back. Exhale. Head to shoulders down. Feet go down. Soles of feet right on the mat. Stretch your right leg tall. Point your toe. Feel those quads tone up. And then bend your knee. Find that space opening the knee away from your right shoulder. Reaching down now, use your core, draw the knee up, press the sacrum down, press the mid back down, flex your right foot, and then continue onward, bringing that beautiful foot up towards your body as you stretch your right elbow down there, pressing maybe on the inside of your knee. We're going to be here for a few more breaths. And noticing in our figure four how the tendency is to scoop and curl the spine here. We want to try to keep it balanced and long. So if you're sickling that spine up to the left, it's natural. Don't give yourself any trouble over it. Just see if you can elongate by pushing down through your right sit bone, trying to lengthen that spine as long as you can. And taking three more breaths here, just relaxing everything. Letting the weight of your bones now give in to the gravity. Mm. 
One more beautiful inhale. And beautiful exhale. Oh, don't you feel so relaxed? Let go of your leg. Let your toe tap down on the mat. Arms outstretched to a T. Continue all the way over to your left. Letting that right foot and toe find the earth. And then just letting your knee fall where it wants to. Maybe you've got your left hand there on your right hip. And finding that length, you're glancing out over to the right as you breathe in and breathe out and twisting and you're compressing the intestines and allowing that fresh fluid to flow the oxygenated blood as you breathe in here feel your heart opening and let your neck soften as you exhale one more big breath Ah. And now bring yourself back to center. Press the low back down. Use your core strength. Coming into a beautiful jackknife position. Just stretch the legs up. Lift the shoulders. Lift the head. And lift your whole body away from the earth except for your midsection. We're going to release the arms and just point the fingers towards those toes and rise up to meet it. Here we go. We've got 10. There's 10, 9. We're doing little crunches here. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. There's 3, 2, and 1. Now bend your knees and bring your feet all the way down. Let your upper body rest as you come into Shavasana. Taking up lots of space here. Feel your spine length and let the hands spread out. And take a deep breath. And as you exhale, soften down through the ribs. Let them rest down on the mat. Stretching through the crown of your head, long neck. And coming into this place of peace and harmony. And feeling the spaciousness of your body now as you breathe deeply in and out. And then let go of any conscious breathing. Close your eyes. And allow yourself to receive here. And allow your body to be aware of where you are. Keeping the eyes softened or closed and just allow this consciousness of being the observer. Allow yourself to find movement where movement wants to flow. Maybe turning the feet, turning the head, shoulders, and just finding the breath. And when you're ready, reaching the arms up and over your head, bring your feet together, point your toes, draw a deep breath. And as you exhale, draw one knee up into your heart space. Ah. And then draw the other one in too. And allowing your body to receive this moment of pause before you enter back into your day.
When you're ready, roll over onto your side. Let your head rest on your arm like a pillow. Place your other hand down on the earth. I'm feeling so supported and grounded and grateful now. Bring your beautiful body up, happy, healthy, and heal to a seated position on your mat. You face me, I'll face you, and bring our hands to our heart center, bowing our heads. It is the divine light in me that sees and honors that very light that is beaming from you. Be well. Be joyful. Namaste. Blessings to you, friends. I hope you feel amazing, and I hope you're having an amazing season of giving gratitude and grace keep your equilibrium strongly flowing take good care of yourself and thanks for liking this video subscribing to my channel and I'll see you very soon peace be with you